What would you say is the essence with a festival like this? The essence of a festival? Uh, I think the essence is to show that, like, that Sweden lives in heavy metal. You know, you don't really always associate Sweden with heavy metal. It's like a lot of places in Europe. But with this kind of occasion, it shows the med metal lives everywhere. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Then the atmosphere is... Uh, it's been great. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's yeah, it's great, 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 really. Have you ever had a bad festival experience? Mm, well, not, not really. Not no, really. No, no. Not that I know of. No. 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 No, no. no. no bad festivals. <laughs> If you were a festival goer here on Sweden Rock Festival, what would your expectations be? Well, I think if I was coming here as a visitor, I'd expect just to end the festival with a lot of pain in my neck <laughs> and yeah. a big hangover. <laughs> and if I didn't have it, it wouldn't be a good festival. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Where do you think the heavy metal scene would be in like 10 years? Uh, greater than now, I think. Greater than now, because uh, it, it came a long way ten years ago that it was nothing, and now it's it just, back back to the 80s, and well, you know, it's it's growing and growing and growing. So it's expanding, you know, yeah. because you know you got new metal and it just gets heavier and heavier and heavier, and it's great as well. But the old school bands are still there, and there's still a lot right. of fans for the old school music. So it's right. it's not changing; it's just expanding. Right. Okay. Great. Um, to what extent do you think the importance of playing live will change in the future? Or will it be the same? Or? Well, it's difficult to look into the future, you know, but you have to be able to play your music live as well as in the studio, you know, because if you can't play it live, if you can only do it in the studio, then you can't be valued as, a, as artists. That's right. You have to be able to do it live as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this time, I'm thinking of the downloading as well. Isn't it the live scene will be even more important maybe? Or? Uh, yes, but it's, for metal, I think it's always been uh, more important than uh, the, 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 li the live atmosphere is so uh, so much better than in, on the studio uh, recording. I think. Yeah, with, do with down downloading music, you know, this, the music the music business has changed. Yeah. Because you you had to sell CDs to make your money, you know, and now everybody will download everything illegally, so it's difficult for the bands, and now you have to be able to present it live to be able to, yeah, yeah, make ends meet. Yeah, that's right. Do you think image will have more or less importance for metal bands in the future? Oh, man, I suppose it does for some new metal bands, you know, like emo bands and that kind of stuff. The image is, is just as important as the music, but for the old school shit that we play, <laughs> the, mu the music comes in the first place. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know? And your, when you were younger, I mean, was your image any different or? No. Just not, a little not, bit not less really. grey. <laughs> <laughs> I just colour your hair then, I think. <laughs> you have a, not on this, do you have a sexier voice now than for 20 years ago? I think my voice has matured, you know. Yeah, I, I can't I, sing as high as I used to, I don't think, you know, but it's got warmer. I, I think so too, I, I must agree. I, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got a, a nice a raw edge to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's that's so great, so much greater than uh, than you did. Yeah, really. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and what about your guitar playing? It's better. Same. It's better. Yes. Same. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Worse. <laughs> it's getting grayer it's and grayer. <laughs> <laughs> now we've we did fingers maybe. Well, I don't know. No, no. We've all grown as artists as well, right. and as musicians. You know, in 25 years, you know, with the last time we played together. And the band came together and it was better than it was, you know. Yep, yep. And that comes to 25 years of experience and musical yep. yeah, experience. And you just seem to get better, you know, and not as musicians. But still, the core stays the same. The picture yep. roots stay the same. But the band has got really fucking shit hot. Right. Now, I have a, some photos here. I know who these people are. These are kind of Swedish characters or personalities. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, can you? Yeah. I know, <laughs> no, 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 Would you like to uh, take a look? You can yeah. have those and look. And I ask you what the guys want me to ask you. Um, uh, which of the following persons would you choose to have as a manager if you had to choose one of the following? <laughs> <laughs> the one with the biggest tits. <laughs> <laughs> as a manager. As a manager, well. As a man well, uh, well, well, management, well, no, no, well, no. Well, no. Oh no, oh no. no. <laughs> well, well, oh no, no that's the from the with the blonde singer, eh? Oh, the yeah, blonde, yeah, okay. yeah. 
I would say personally, I'd have that one as my manager. Uh, stage okay, manager. Sure yeah. <laughs> that, that would be our manager. Where do you get your inspiration for your music? You better ask uh, him. He writes the music. Uh, just, I just sit there and play, and play my guitar and try a little riff, and and that's basically. The, how, uh, how a song yeah. uh, Well, the starts. process is, Jan comes with the guitar riffs and then it grows in the rehearsal room. And then right. it, usually I take it home or I, I, I download it because we've got right. a site where we pass yeah. things around. And I start listening and I, I write my uh, vocals and vocal melodies on his riffs. And then we bring that to the rehearsal studio and every, everybody has their input. And the song just grows from there. Okay. He's, he sows the seeds. Sows the yeah, seeds. Yeah, yeah. You can say that, yes. yes. <laughs> Sowing the That's seeds good. of love. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you already answered this, but once again, do you know the secret to why hard rock heavy metal music has survived as long as it has? And why do you think people, the popularity has gone up for this kind of, I mean, it's just, this is just oh, growing well, and it's growing. It's not just music, it's the culture. Yeah, that's that too. It's the culture, you know, children are born into metal. My son, yeah. my, my son is our, our drum roadie, his sons play metal, They're, you're born into metal, it's not yeah. just music, it's a culture. And for some reason, uh, the metal is about the only kind of music you keep liking all, in, in all those yeah. years till, till, you're, till yeah. you die, I think. And that's, I, don't, I don't think that's, that's the case with any, any other kind of music. No, it can't, you get it in your soul and right. it just doesn't get out. Right. Thinking here, I wonder, there's kind of a white culture uh, thing, isn't it? It's, there are some black bands as well, but there's some there's some uh, coloured uh, metal bands, but not many. I don't know why that is. Probably be because of the culture thing. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. that's it. Like the culture. best boxes are black, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose. I suppose so. yes, you but can but say. I have uh, my own questions. Maybe on here because yeah. I love, as I said to you, I, I love the Dutch music. This yeah. small country, you have, you're great in football. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, aren't you? Easy, easy. I'm not Dutch, I'm man. Not Dutch. <laughs> I'm not Dutch. <laughs> but but how come that this little country uh, have this great music scene with classic bands like Golden Air in Focus and Picture and uh, Alquin uh, and uh, Kayak and uh, you well, name it. I, you I, really I, know your bands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Nits. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. 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 I think my, my every country have the, has their bands, yes, don't yes, they? Yes, yes, yes. But I, I think I think uh, Dutch are uh, entrepreneurs. They, they like to, to start own business. They like to start new things. So I think that maybe, maybe, maybe something has to do with that. That Dutch are willing to try new things. That's why uh, the Nits, I think, is kind of new. Focus, yeah. very new. So very, very really groundbreaking in their, their their kind of music. So maybe. But how was it for you when you started out? Because you've been been. Uh, I mean, we were the first, uh, the first uh, really heavy metal band uh, from Holland, but we started out as a as a hard rock band. But uh, with the with the influence of uh, of the uh, the English, uh, the new wave of British, uh, new wave British heavy metal. Well, then a new well a new combination just formed, and just it just happened. Yeah. So and uh, that's that's really the picture uh, the picture style, and it's it's. It still survived, so... Uh, and it hasn't changed much no, in 25 no. years, I right. Well, it's even longer, it's 30 years, I guess. 30 years, yes. 30 years, pictures been going for 30 years now. And it hasn't really changed. Could you relate to the fact that there are people who find a fe this festival to be some kind of sanctuary from their everyday life? And do you have a sanctuary, and what, where is that in that case? Oh, man! My sanctuary, I suppose it's internet. I can lose myself in internet. <laughs> I drown my sorrows. I know I've got some really great sites that I can go to. <laughs> he said with a grin. Uh, now, okay, your sanctuary, you know, your, your escape is your metal, you know. If you've got problems, if you've got shit, you know, when we go to rehearse with a picture or play a gig or something, then yeah, yeah. That's, that's your therapy and that's your escape picture. Yeah. It must be wonderful for you to see people here just longing to see you live and oh, just yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's people good. here from Brazil, Brazil that yes. came to see us from Mexico, Russia, I heard people. Yeah. And they right. come halfway around the world to see Picture Live on something like this. Well, that just says everything. Yeah. Yes, yes. And they just also because they said they, well, they hadn't had the chance 20, 25 years ago. And now finally, so they have, oh, they put along a lot of money in it just to see us, yeah. just to to take that last chance maybe but <laughs> and they weren't even born when picture started you know <laughs> that yeah, says also, it all that's all yes right right thank you for your time okay, thank, thank you very you much for the interview cool okay.